at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Today, I'm gonna to take you all around islands and show you what I think are the top five most unique drinks that you can get here at Islands of Adventure. We did this over in Universal Studios. I will link that for you here to go check out that video. And I'm gonna show you today a mix of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages that are very unique to Islands of Adventure. So let's just go get into it. Let's go get into some hijinks. We are gonna be starting out in Jurassic Park. Directly next to the VelociCoaster is the watering hole. This is a counter service bar and there's so many great options here. Basically anything you get here is gonna be awesome. They have some frozen drinks, but what's really cool about this place is that they have specialty drinks that come in a souvenir glass and they're all gonna be $13.99. They're all amazing. I'm gonna try one that I think is, um, what I would say my favorite of them all. And uh, they don't have them today, but each morning they get a fresh, you can see here, a fresh flower to put on drinks and they're already out. It's like two o'clock and they're already out of flowers. Uh, they try to give them out as fast as they can because they are fresh and edible. So if you get here early enough, you can get a flower in your drink. Here is my drink in the souvenir cup. It's very, very cool. And the really cool part about getting the souvenir cup is that if you get any other specialty drinks, they are $3 off. And that also includes the Long Island iced tea. But today I got the Birds of Paradise. This is Malibu Passion Fruit Rum and Flor de Cana Rum, Bitters, Passion Fruit, and Lime Juice. And this one's my, one of my favorites. It's one of the most popular ones. Another one um, that my bartender also recommended, which I've had before, which is the Predator Rocks is very popular. But this one is my personal favorite. So let me know if this is something maybe you would try or if you tried it, what you thought of it. But let's give it a whirl. Cheers. Oh yeah. That is, that just puts me, that's paradise. That is literally why it's paradise. This is such a tropical drink, which I love. It feels like I'm now on a beach. And that's, that's what I always kind of want to be. I just want to be relaxing on a beach. And I think this is absolutely delicious. It's really refreshing. It's not like heavy at all. That's why I like this one because it's very light. It's very fruity, but it's very light. And it's not really that sweet. Like I don't like sweet drinks. This one is like a little bit of tartness in it. I think it's absolutely delicious. Plus, even with that orange uh, on it, you kind of like get the uh, smells of the orange and it kind of like puts extra flavor in. And I love this drink. It's one of my favorites at Universal Islands of Adventure. Yeah, I think this is just absolutely delicious. Let me know if this is something you would get or if this is a skip for you. Made it over to Seuss Landing and just before you head into the Lost Continent, over here is Moose Juice and Goose Juice. These are non-alcoholic beverages and they are frozen drinks. First we have the Goose Juice. The Goose Juice is a frozen sour green apple drink and then the Moose Juice is a orange frozen drink. Which team are you? Let me know in the comments. Which one am I going to get? Can you guess? You're going to find out in two seconds. I got the Goose Juice. I am team Goose Juice. Both are so good, but I really love the sour green apple flavor. Um, I'm just, I'm, in, I'm into that more than the orange, but both are great and very different. So you have a lot of options, especially if you're going to get this for a kid that isn't into the sour flavor. The orange is a great um, drink, but I'm ready for my Goose Juice. I forgot a straw. It's too late now. Cheers. Oh my God, so good. This is like so refreshing on a hot day. Like 21 and overs, don't skip out on this. Uh, it, it's so good. I love the flavor of this green apple. It kind of just tastes like my childhood candies. Um, I was always into those sour candies. I like, I'm weird. I like sour and like really hot things because I find that it's like extra fun. This is so good, even without a straw. <laughs> Let me know in the comment which team are you, goose juice or moose juice, and if this is something you would get or try, or if you don't like moose goose or juice goose at all, because you could. That's totally valid. For me, it's nice and refreshing, lots of great flavor, and I'm, it just makes, it just makes me, puts me back into my childhood. That's, that's really what it is, totally for me. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Made it over to Hogsmeade, and no, we're not getting butterbeer in any form. That is way too obvious. We are gonna head into the Hogshead, which is a bar attached to the three broomsticks. And we're actually gonna be getting three out of the five drinks on this list here, because first of all, there are two exclusive alcoholic beverages that you can only get here at the Hogshead. They are made exclusively for the Hogshead. 
And then there's another drink where you can get it either here or inside the three broomsticks. So we're probably gonna get it in here. So let's head into the Hogshead. So the first drink we're gonna get is part of the Hogshead. And this is an exclusive beer you can only get here at this Hogshead bar. It's a uh, Scottish red ale beer and it's made by the Florida Brewing Company. And again, this is the only place you can get it. But that's not all we're gonna do. There is a special secret menu item that not many people know about and it's really cool. Our first drink from the Hogshead is the three layer drink. So this is kind of like a secret menu item. It used to be called the Deathly Hollows, but we're not allowed to call it that anymore because of trademark reasons. So when you order it, ask for the three layer drink. The three layers are uh, Strongbow Hard Cider, that exclusive Hogshead beer, and Guinness. It used to be able to kind of see it layered like that, but she said something happened and it doesn't really do that anymore, but still tastes the same and still is a great secret fun drink. So let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna take my drink to a little secret spot. So if you go to the right of the Hogshead, there's this little back alley and look at all this great seating. And you can sit here and watch the Velocicoaster and have your, uh, your anything from the bar really. But today we're having well, first we're having, I should say, our three-layer drink. Minus the screams of a coaster. It's so quiet back here. I absolutely love it. But now it's time to drink our three-layer drink. This is so good. It's definitely more of a dark beer, and I, I really enjoy that. I mean, I like kind of... I like dark beers and I like weedy beers, but this one is really delicious. And you can get that, like subtle flavor from the hard cider and it's just really really good really unique drink super refreshing on a hot day I really my favorite part of this though is that flavor from the cider that pops in it is absolutely delicious I also really enjoy Guinness so if you don't like Guinness you're not gonna like this but I enjoy it um, I don't know to me this is a really excellent and really unique beer and you can only get it here at Universal Islands of Adventure and to me, that's why I like going places. I like trying things that I can't get anywhere else. And this is definitely like at the top of my list for that. Anyway, cheers. Back inside the Hogshead for round two. And we are gonna be getting their exclusive fire whiskey. Now you can get this as a shot, but what we're gonna do is get what they call the Strongbow Fire Whiskey, which is just Strongbow Cider with the fire whiskey. But she said it tastes like an apple pie. So I'm excited. I have never had it in this form. I've had the fire whiskey on its own and it is delicious. So let's get this drink. And here is the drink, the Strong Bow Cider with their exclusive fire whiskey. I'm, I'm excited. I love an apple pie. I love the fire whiskey on its own. I love the cider on its own. So let's see if this is a winner here. Oh my God, it does taste like an apple pie. Oh, I love this. And I just love how I love the exclusive fire whiskey. There goes the coaster. I, this is so delicious. I actually would love to try this at home, but obviously I can't do it with their fire whiskey, but maybe get like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, maybe get some fireball and another cider and see if it tastes the same, because this is really delicious. Mm. I'm so glad my bartender told me to get it this way because I've only had the shot on its own and I really enjoy it. But this is the way to go. If you're into that apple flavor, you're gonna, you're gonna love this. I think this is so good, so unique. Definitely deserves to be on this list. I decided to head into the three broomsticks because there was like no line and I have not eaten yet today. So I decided to get our next drink there with a little bite. And this is the pumpkin fizz. Now you can get the pumpkin juice regular pumpkin juice and you can get that all around uh, Hogsmeade and even Diagon Alley it's in a bottle and they're very cute and you can bring that home but this you can get here and it's basically pumpkin juice but fizzy so it's a little extra something something and then as a little bonus I got some fish and chips which I absolutely love and I am starving but first it's pumpkin time so if you know me you know I love pumpkin everything and it's so good I think they put a little powder on the top too pumpkin of like seasoning something like that and it's so good I think it's super refreshing too but if you don't like pumpkin you're not gonna get it but I think this is super unique like I don't know unless you can tell me where else can you get fizzy pumpkin juice I certainly don't know I think it's super unique to um, 
to Universal. I think this is just absolutely delicious. I think people sleep on this and get butter beers all the time. I think it's really good and super refreshing, and it's non-alcoholic, so kids can have it too. And you can just and you can get it flat, just regular pumpkin juice as well. But to me, this is uh, this is the clear, unique winner here for me. Cheers. Well, my dudes, those are my top five unique drinks here at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I didn't put it in any particular order because they're all unique in their own ways. Let me know in the comments which drinks you want to try the most, which drinks you want to try the least, and if you've tried any of them and what you thought. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Check out my Patreon for extra content and exclusives and until next time my dudes I hope you guys get into some hijinks very very soon. Have a bye!